Hey guys, we are back with another video and this time the much hyped white tone face powder is on the charts. I mean, though I never wanted to review it, I would never go for it, never reach for it. But just in general, I know how hot it can be for people to get up in the morning and every day um, wear loads of makeup because you have lack of time, you have a lot of things to be scheduled in the day and sometimes you want to look good but you do not necessarily have the point. Second thing, my thoughts on this is be comfortable with your skin tone. You don't have to look white because it's a trend to look fair. I personally wear makeup which is darker than my skin tone because I love the tan kind of effect. So many makeup artists these days are you know making the uh, brides look fairer than what they are naturally which something I do not prefer which is my personal opinion yours can be different so no hatred on that so we are not talking about any lectures or any start of oh my god society norms we are just gonna review the product and we'll jump right in so I this is the white tone face powder it's not expensive it costs a hundred rupee which is not a lot which is cheaper than makeup definitely in your kit so the second thing which I am going to be putting shots in this video of me and my dad trying it out without makeup which because my dad has a darker skin tone than me I wanted him to try and see if it made any kind of difference so we are going to be putting those shots in I the video know, I have a strong feeling of this breaking me out so bad okay so what she does in the ad is she pours it in her hand and then she rubs it on her face and that's what I'm going to do first but I really recommend not wearing black clothes like me it's gonna spill everywhere so i have it in my hands like this and i'm just gonna rub it i think we're gonna do that one side it's like but it's it makes your skin really rough there is not a lot of difference what i see and no if the concept of it is making your skin white nobody has time to go little by little for a product like this so let's just go with a lot i have no doubt that it it does give you that fairy kind of hint i'm not sure how long it's gonna stay kind of making me fair but it's still powdery so it's like a powdery finish to your face if you guys don't mind that to look fair then go for it i still won't recommend this i don't know that's my personal opinion okay i thought let's just give this a fair chance and do it on someone with darker skin so that's my dad okay so he's pouring the powder and now i want you to take a little powder and then put it on one side of your face what do you what are your impressions about it what i feel that i'm going um to some serial tv serial or or some movie uh, but do you shoot. think that you've become fairer than before yeah no no yeah undoubtedly so i really want to put this on my entire face <laughs> but it's more wide because it's more artificial so i i uh, i don't know what to comment on because uh, you the best one to see speak as you on. can see here as well it's past patching out just the way it patches out on my skin so maybe it's not for any kind of skin tone and if you put it daily it might give you a breakout that's what i feel how 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 does your skin feel I don't know because uh, it's like it, it's feeling a little tight and uh, I'm not very comfortable with that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So I hope you saw the shot and you even saw what I felt about it. I hate it. I don't know why you have to look that ghosty white. Makes no sense. It's a good product to save uh, on face paints for Halloween in general. So, well, I'm just going to bake with it and see if it really makes a difference or not. What baking literally means is that you take uh, your beauty sponge and you put it under the eye. What a lot of people do this, it is not wrong. It's basically to set your concealer 
help your concealer not to crease under your eye. It also makes you look very finishy kind of look, highlights your skin and it also helps you give a sharp contour. And you need to keep your bake for around 5 minutes, that's what the rules generally are. So I'm just going to bake with it quickly. And I said in the video before as well, don't wear black, but I'm again wearing black. So I'm just going to take it on my hand and then bake with it. So I am done with the baking pa uh, part, the baking needs to be on for 5 minutes, that's what you do with the traditional translucent powder. The case of the translucent powders are, the good ones are really costly. So if this works then maybe this could be good for setting your powder and baking your face, not your cake. So I'll be right back in 5 minutes. So it's been 5 minutes now and I'm off to removing my bake. Uh, but the only thing I find about this is it has such a strong smell, such a strong smell. My sister's recording right now. How do you feel about the smell? It's everywhere, right? Yeah. Chaku. <laughs> Probably she hates it. It's all, all in my mouth and it's disgusting. I wouldn't really bake with it. So let's remove the bake. Ha ha ha. You know what I feel? I'd rather go for Johnson & Johnson's baby powder to bake my face rather than reaching for it. It's almost making me look dark under the eye. It's, it's taking my mascara off. It's dipping everywhere. I think I feel everything is kind of creasing instead of not creasing. And this almost looks like my makeup has been removed, which you don't feel after baking. So it's supposed to make your uh, makeup look more seamless, more together. All in all, I don't know why people make such products which are meant to just ruin your face. I think that makeup is going to any day do less harm to you rather than this powder. It's going in the bin for me for sure. I'm not even going to hold on to it. And it's the worst product of the century. It's one of my worst products so far. So whatever guys. This video was a fail. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you guys like my review. If you did, don't forget to subscribe because we have so many more tutorials coming up. And, and I love you guys and we will see you in the next video.